Spooky, where the fuck are you? What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, I'm Courtney. Today I'm going to be trying out all of these ColourPop products that I just bought. Um, I have been seeing a lot of girls on YouTube right now using all these ColourPop new products saying they're like amazing and whatnot. So I thought I would go to the store and get them myself and try them out for you guys and then come on here and give you guys my honest opinion of what I think of them. So this makeup look that you are seeing right now is really all ColourPop products. So if you like this makeup look and you want to see how I achieved it and all the hype that I think about the products, then just keep watching. With that being said, let's get into the video. I have a hair, it's in my face, and it's really not okay. Do you guys ever have like those stupid little flyaways or is it just me? I hate using hairspray though, I freaking hate it. I don't know why, but I hate it. <coughs> That's probably why. This isn't sponsored. I did buy this with all my money. So please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try out these products for you guys and let you know what all the hype is all about. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got first. Um, I got two blushes. So I just came out with this stick blush that I had to try, obviously. I put it on my finger and I was like, damn! Also got the blush that they have had for a while now got that and then i also got two little highlighters they came out with the stick little highlighter and then also i got one that is packed in this little container i got this lip crayon that i'm super excited to try what is this lippy sticks put me on your lips no shit i don't know i got that so i got concealer because I can't try this video out without getting concealer, right? You guys, I even got the foundation, the primer, and the spray that you're supposed to put on after you put on your foundation. So I got all three of those. Bada bing, bada boom. So um, lately, I have been going more with the natural brow, so I literally barely even fill my eyebrows in anymore. So I just thought I would get this little brow pencil guy from ColourPop and try him out, so... We'll see about that. But let's get to it. I'm going to give you guys the scoop. I'm going to give you the mother tea. All the tea. It's here. So first things first, I'm going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer. The packaging is really cute too. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to keep that. So, okay. so um, wow. Okay. I feel like with summer right around the corner, I want to have more of like a dewy makeup look, if that makes sense. This is a tinted moisturizer. I hate the way foundation looks and feels on my face. I just want something more natural. Um, so we're gonna give this guy a little bit of a go. I'm just gonna start dotting it. So right off the bat, I can obviously tell it is light coverage. Um, which is fine by me, but I definitely feel like this is something you can build up. So, I like how I put that on and now like my face matches my body, if that makes sense. I'm gonna close this because that's tripping me out. Okay, and we're back. So, I don't know if my audio changed drastically, but I had to unplug my mic so I can put my light up here because my room is yellow and it's so ugly but there's nothing I can do about it so it's not super full coverage like I said I think you are able to build it up but me personally I don't feel like doing that so we're just gonna go right ahead and go in with the concealer and try this bad boy out light 40n so I'm just gonna pop this guy under here like so the applicator on this is a little bit odd to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. No, I feel like it's a little weird. Like, I feel like this is like a lipstick applicator. Oh. Uh. Shit. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my ring finger and kind of pat the rest of that in there. I'm just going in with my Kat Von D translucent powder real fast. 
Perfect. So with my beauty blender, I'm going to take just a little bit more of that translucent powder and I'm just going to put a little bit more under my eyes just because I have fine lines under there and you know this helps a lot with those. Um, recently too, I have been taking like um, more of a brush and really packing it in there which helps with my fine lines too. 21 years old and I have fine lines under my eyes. SOS. Okay, I'm just gonna push that in. I don't even know if ColourPop makes a bronzer, but if they do, my Ulta didn't have it. So I'm just gonna go in with my Kat Von D bronzer. And I'm gonna bronze up my face a little bit. I don't contour my nose at all. I just swipe bronzer on it I don't freaking know we are going to go in with some blush so I'm torn I don't know which one to use so I'm just gonna say I'm gonna use it both so we're just gonna put this on my cheeks oh, oh shit dab that all around you know Ah, this makes me want it to be summer I feel like I'm glowing so far so good I have no complaints yet so I'm just going to go in with that pot now, and I'm going to put the pot on um, this guy. I'm going to put that all over my cheeks. I'm going to go in with the brows. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I could not tell you the last time I used a brow pencil or anything other than shadow for my brows. So we're going to give this a go. I got this in dark brown. I'm just going to lightly do my brows. That's about as good as she's gonna get. I'm gonna do the other one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished doing my brows. Now I'm just gonna go in with some clear brow gel and go over them so they stay in place. This is like, I don't know what I would do without brow gel, you guys. What did I do before brow gel? Okay, so now I need to think about what I want to do for eyeshadow. I don't know if I want to wear eyeshadow tonight. I didn't get a ColourPop eyeshadow palette or anything because I have way too many eyeshadow palettes. I could not even tell you where to store the next one that I purchase. So, we're gonna make do with what we got. I'm probably gonna use my Hanging in Hawaii BH Cosmetics palette. I am obsessed with this palette, you guys. I don't know why. I think it's just such a pretty palette. It has all the colors you could ever think of in there that you need for like summertime. And since it's been summer, it's not summer. Let me rephrase that. Since it's been sunny out lately, it makes me feel like it's summer. And I don't know if you guys get this way too, but I have seasonal depression hard, hard. And I am a completely different person when it is not like sunny or nice outside. I just get gloomy and gross. I don't know, I hate it. So I'm super stoked that it's been sunny outside lately. Anyways, we're gonna do some eyeshadow now and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but we're gonna do something. I'm gonna take the shade Shaka from this palette. I'm gonna put it all over my lid. Actually, the crease of my lid. But I'm not gonna, I'm kind of gonna like follow the shape of my brow if that makes sense like that and then go in with the shape of my eye all right so at first I put Ohana on my lid, and then I was like, nah, and then I put Hula on my lid, which was the sparkly color. Um, I'm obviously going to do a little bit of a, like, um, a shadow wing, and then I have to pop on some lashes. So I'm going to do that. Um, with the whole dewy, summery makeup look, I probably wouldn't do eyeshadow, but since I'm going out tonight and going to dinner and stuff, I decided to do a little bit more 10 out of 10 so far you guys and all the products that I've used up to this point yeah I got no complaints really but 
the lime in the coconut and twist it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and stir it all up. Twist it up, stir it up. I don't know. Okay, so I finished some of the eye look. Now I need to go ahead and pop on my false lashes. I don't even know what I'm using. They are the Lotus um, Faux Mink lashes. I could not tell you what kind they are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on. I haven't popped one of these bad boys on in a hot minute, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to my tops real fast. I usually don't do this, but since I've had lash extensions on for so long, I feel like my lashes are like down, like, I don't even know. I don't know why it's 3 o'clock and I'm drinking coffee. But I am. So, so I wear false lashes all the time. All the time. I don't know how I'm gonna like these, you guys. I'm a little. Oh, I just got glue in my eye. Good. Oh, yeah, that burns a little bit. Yep, it sure does. Oh. Holy shit. These are long. I'm going to fly away. I'll see you guys later. I'll be up in the sky flying. Wow. Those are hella long. I look like a spider. And now it's yellow again in my room because the sun decided to come out. Okay, I'm gonna put two different eyelashes on right now and we're gonna see which one we like better. I don't know, does this look normal to you guys? Like, or would I look completely psycho going out like this? I mean, I do live in Montana, so I get judged with whatever the hell I do no matter what because it's Montana and that's how people are. Come here. Um, holy shit, look at these. So which one looks better? This one. Does it look natural? Yeah. Like it doesn't look like... The other uh, side. Is I don't like bit... how this one like... Let me see, are they two different ones? Yeah. No, that one looks really good. I didn't because at first I was like, holy. No, I like that one. Okay. Okay, so I just got both of the lashes on, and I'm actually not bad about it. We need to put on the lippy and the highlighter, and then to top it off, setting spray, of course. So let's go ahead and, I guess I have two lips. Let's see which one we want to use. But um, I got this pink lippy. This one's super pretty. I also got another one. I think this is one of the new ones that just came out. Oh, yeah. Hello, in this color. It's a really pretty color. I'll have to do another look with this pinky one, but we're gonna go for the darker one, for sure. You guys, this is so smooth. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so there's the color of the lip. I'm absolutely obsessed with that color, you guys. And let me tell you, it is so soft and creamy. Like, I feel like my lips are going to stay hydrated. Is this matte? It is matte. Interesting. Last step, second to last step, we need to put on highlighter. And since I have both, I'm probably going to mix both because why not? Am I right? So for the stick highlighter, I got this in the shade Earth. I think it's how you pronounce it. I have no clue. And lunch money, huh? And this guy, I got it in the shade lunch money. Oh, do you just like put this on the skin? Is that how that works? Or was I supposed to like? Girl. Okay. Go low, baby. Are you guys seeing that? Come on. Come on. What? A plus. Now I'm gonna go in with this guy. Put it on top. I was not expecting it to be that soft. Holy moly. That's so soft. 
This is kind of like a cream highlight, it almost feels like. Which I'm not mad about. Not mad at all. Look how pretty that is. Hello, hello. Yeah, so uh, my camera died. I don't know if you can tell, but I finished getting ready. So um, I literally had like one step left to do. I think we just left off doing the highlighter. So this is the highlighter. And let me just tell you, the lighting that I have in my room is not doing this look any justice. The last thing that we need to use is, I'm not gonna lie, I already used it, but I'm gonna use it again for the video, is the, uh, the setting spray, of course. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this stuff feels so bomb. I could sit here all day and just use it. And it smells so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So happy I tried these products out today, you guys, because I have new fave products. I love the way it looks on my skin. It doesn't look cakey. It looks so natural and glowy. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this video of me trying out all these products and giving you guys my honest opinion on them and what I think. Um, so far, I have no complaints, you guys. I absolutely love all these products. I give them 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10 if I could. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with them. And that's all I have for you today. So, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, you guys. And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below to my channel because if you like this video, you're probably going to like other videos I make. So you might as well stick around and join the Wit Fam. Um, yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.